don't get to be happy about anything. Not about Marty, not about the baby, nothing. Hell no! You're right. It's over. No, son, oh my God. You okay? I'm fine, thank you. Okay. That's okay. It's okay, sweetie. It's okay. Shh. You okay, Manny? Yeah. yeah. It's okay. How are you? We're fine. We're fine. Blair. Taya, where are they? Cole used to take a long time to calm down after a loud noise, but you are doing so well. Yes, you are. Oh, okay. Marty. Something happened tonight, John. I remember everything. Hey, John, give me your phone. I need to call my kids. They were upstairs when all this began. Kids are fine. Star and Cole with them at your place. There's cops outside keeping an eye on everything. And you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Okay, well, we need to go find Blair and Taya. Okay. Dr. God knows where, then he came back to the baby. How long was he gone? Uh, half hour, 45 minutes. Okay, so you couldn't have gotten far, all right? Any idea where he might have taken them? No. No. Oh, my God. Is this... Yeah, it's Rebecca Lewis, all right? She was helping pal. She tried to stop me on the way in. Hey, do you guys smell that? That smells like gas. Yeah. All right, you should get to the hospital. No, 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 I'm fine. No, you're bleeding, and this yeah. baby needs to be checked no, out. No, no, listen. Don't fight me on this, John, please. Tay and Blair could be in trouble, or worse. Right, but Marty's been through hell. So is this kid, all right? They should be at a hospital. Listen to me. Take Rebecca's car. It's in the driveway. The keys are in it. Yeah, all right. I guess she's not going to need it anymore. What about Tay and Blair? I'll take care of them. Yeah, you better. Let's go. This way. Car's out this way. <coughs> Can you maybe step on it? We need to get to the hospital. No, we've got a baby on board. She's in a car seat. She's fine. No. I lost custody of Sam because I played fast and loose with the rules about cars and babies, so if people are in a hurry, they can pass me. Great. I remember Sam now. I think he was called Tommy. When I knew him before. Yeah, I changed his name when I got him back. Yeah. Remember how driven you were to get him back from Marcy? A jerk. I guess your most recent memories of me aren't so great either. Not except for those months when you were lying to me about everything. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. You know, if she really is our grandchild, Marcy's gonna want her, just like she wanted Sam. Well, if she's our grandchild, then... Star agreed to let Marcy adopt her, so yes. So we're gonna get her back and then lose her to the McBain? Let's just wait until we realize and know for sure if she's Star and Cole's baby, okay? Well, so there was a DNA test done. Then that'll settle it. Well, what do you think? I mean, in your gut, do you really think she could be our grandchild? I have no idea if she's really Star and Cole's baby. Well, whoever she turns out to be, you really did an amazing thing back there, I'll tell you. Pal walked in with her, it was like you'd won a prize or something. Like she was this key to getting back at me for everything I'd done to him. Better than having you guys watch me die. Well, he was very sick. Yeah. I don't know what he'd done to her if you hadn't talked him down. I don't even think about that. I, uh, I have a lot to thank you for. And I guess I, uh, should thank you. I now can remember every sick detail of what you and Zach and Pal did to me. But I had, I guess I had to go through that in order to remember everything else. And you walk me through it. I have all my memories back. Because of you. That was really beautiful how you convinced Powell that he was the one that helped get your memory back. I just told him what he needed to hear. Yeah, it worked. Yeah, well, everything I said to Powell was just to get the baby back. But I couldn't lie to him because he would have known, so I, just, I told him the truth. It's just that it was the truth about you. You, uh, 
Now you pushed me to relive that nightmare and what happened in that room. Even though you knew it would make me hate you more. And it did. You were right. I had to, uh, I had to go through that hell and get to the other side and get to all the good things that my life had become. Oh my God, Patrick and Cole. All the things that I was told but I couldn't feel. <laughs> Isn't it just... It's just a sick joke that I have all that now because of you. Yeah, I'm not cold, I'm not cold. Hey, uh, do you think, uh... Hey, uh, do you think that, uh, that Chloe looks like Star? She, she looks like Star to me. Well, what do you think? I mean, I, I, I think she really could be her grandchild. What did she do that reminded you of Star? I don't know. It was the look on her face or something. It just passed over her features, and there she was. There was Star. So this... This really might be true. Well, I don't know. Maybe I'm just imagining it. Maybe I just want to... Make yourself feel better? <clears throat> it doesn't matter what I want. I just have to take this one step at a time. First things first. Get her tested. Then we figure everything else out. Yeah, as much as I'd like to tell Star that we found her baby, I don't think we can until we've had her tested, huh? No, you're right. I, I completely agree. Cole couldn't handle losing her again. Oh, my God. Jessa must be going out of her mind. Help! Her parents are on their way. Have I heard anything about Chloe? Not yet. I'm sorry. We need someone to take a look at this baby right away. She seems okay, but she was kidnapped. And I'll get I don't the know attending. Okay, and we also we need to schedule a DNA test for her. Thank you. Chloe! Chloe? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You're okay. You're okay. Oh, my God, my baby. Oh, thank God you're okay. Oh, my God.